All right, so let's just go ahead and get right into this haul video. Before I get into the video, I just want to give a big thank you to my love, Gilly Boo. If you're watching, you know I love you. You know you got a big spot in my heart right here. Because I love you. This is my shirt that I'm currently obsessed with. I haven't uploaded a picture on Instagram, but so you guys are the first to see. Um, it is so cute. It says eat, sleep, and contour. And that's pretty much my life. My life is literally pretty much written on this shirt. So I got this shirt online um, from Time Los Angeles. I will go ahead and leave the website in the description box below. They have tons of cute shirts. This is one of the many cute shirts that they have. So like I said, I will go ahead and link that in the description box down below. With that being said, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and get started with the video. So I know a lot of people are always asking me, you know, like what are my favorite brushes to use? And I have heard so many good things about the MAC 109 brush and it is the small contour. I am a big fan of, you know, contouring the face and I need a brush that's going to do just that. Um, I think I'm going to be uploading another video talking about brushes and whether there are dupes for the MAC brushes. But if you guys have seen my past video um, that I, when I was talking about brushes, I mentioned that I absolutely love MAC brushes. They are the most expensive that I mean that I have spent on, but they're seriously worth every penny. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get too into detail, but if you guys want a video, leave a comment down below. I love MAC brushes, like everything about them, like this probably looks really wrong, but I absolutely love these brushes and okay, enough about that. Okay, so the next thing I got was, um, some lash, a lash curler because the lash curl that I have now is like disgustingly old and it tends to pull off lashes. So when like my clients are like curling their lashes, sometimes their eyelashes fall off and I'm just like, whoa, like hold the fuck up. Like I cannot have a eyelash curler that's gonna rip off my client's lashes. Like what is that? So I went ahead and bought this. I used one of my friends and I fell in love with it. So I was just like, hey, whatever. If you guys know of any good eyelash curlers, let me know because I feel like that's something that you have to replace all the time. Um, so the next thing I got were the Studio Fix powders. I got, I believe I got two of them. Yeah, I got two of them. I love to use these to set on myself and as well as on my clients. It gives such a flawless finish. It is a full coverage. Um, I would recommend to only wear these if you were going to go out to a party or you want to bulletproof, bulletproof your makeup. So the Studio Fix powders look like this. I got an NC40 and... I got an NC45. So these I can use to contour like an NC45 on somebody that's very light. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if the camera is picking up the color. Um, if the reflection of my glasses, uh, I'm just going to take them off. I don't want no eyes to be hurting because of my glasses. So I went ahead and grabbed the NC45 and the NC40. You can use these two to contour and to also set just depending on what color your client is, skin color. Um, and then I went ahead and also grabbed um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. This one is by far one of like the most popular that I've seen a lot of people here on YouTube as well as Instagram use on themselves and on their clients. This is a perfect color to contour with or just to deepen up your look, give you more of a sun tan. Give Me Sun, I mean, it only makes sense, right? Okay, so the next thing I got were, I just had to restock on my foundations. A foundation that always, always, always gets used every time I go out to freelance is the NC25. So, I got a um, Studio Fix Fluid in NC25. I'm sure you guys all know what it looks like. This is actually my color. So, I go through the 25 like so freaking fast. And then I grabbed an NC30. This is another one that's most popular. I am an NC30 in the summer when I am tan. I never really pass NC30, maybe NC35, but I have to mix 35 and the 30. And then I grabbed an NC40 as well. These three shades are the most popular. What you can also do if you're first starting off your kit, you can get a dark one and then a lighter one. Just make sure they're both NC. Well, you can mix NW and NC just depending if you guys are good with mixing foundation colors to match your client perfectly. 
um, but these three are what like the three main foundations especially since I work with a lot of Hispanic girls and then I also grabbed this brush and that is the MAC 130 it's the short there's three dual fiber stippling brushes um, and this is the one of the smallest so I would probably use this you know to blend in the foundation and also to apply a primer or to sit underneath your eyes or to apply on the lotion. I don't know if I've already said that. The moisturizer. Fuck, that's something I forgot to go pick up because I ran out of moisturizer. Great. I love MAC moisturizers, by the way. They are my favorite. Okay, and then I went ahead and grabbed a MAC Prep and Prime Beauty Balm Compact. So this is what I've been obsessed with, and this is what I've been using on all of my clients. To, not all of my clients, but ones that want like a more natural finish for their contour so if they want more of a heavy contour i i will use a thicker concealer but this is one that you cannot go wrong with so ladies if you are scared to contour this is like the perfect product to use to contour because you can't really go wrong so if you know sometimes you feel like it's too dark and then it's too light this one is perfect and then i also had to refill my duo glue I usually always get the black one, but there wasn't any more black, so I just had to settle for the clear. I like to use the clear, but only when I'm doing like um, no liner. And then I also grabbed a ton of eyeshadows. Well, not a ton. One thing I forgot to grab was the actual eyeshadow filler thing, like the thing to put your eyeshadows in. Let's see, I think I have it right here. Oh, well, it's a mess. Um, a must-have eyeshadow for sure, for sure, for sure is MAC Uninterrupted. This oh, seriously is my favorite eyeshadow. I use this on myself every single day. The reason why I haven't been wearing it recently is because I dropped it because I didn't have the Z palette. I need to buy Z palettes. Those are really cute you can just throw all of your eyeshadows in there so this is what it looks like i hope the camera's picking it up because i don't feel like zooming in to show you guys you guys will see it later in my tutorials that will be coming in the future um so this is a pro long wear shadow i believe pro long wear yeah it's a pro long wear eyeshadow oh shit i almost dropped it Do you guys feel that way too? Like when you drop it, like your stomach literally drops with the eyeshadow as it's dropping. Oh, that fucking scared me. Okay, so yeah, if you guys don't have uninterrupted and you guys are barely learning how to do eyeshadow, another recommendation for you girls. Girls, guys, girls, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, and then I also grabbed Sketch Eyeshadow and this is a matte finish. Wait, actually, it has a little bit of shimmer, but for the most part, it's matte. And it is like a violet-ish color. It's kind of like my beanie, but a little bit darker. This is beautiful when you pair it up with like an orange eyeshadow in the crease and some gold on the inner corner. Or you can do a smoky eye with this. It just looks so sultry and so pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, and then I also grabbed Texture. And I didn't grab them in the little pot, like I said, because I need to put it in a palette. I don't like to carry eyeshadows by themselves. So this is what this one looks like. It is also a matte finish. It's a good crease color. I love trying out new crease colors. If you guys know of any other good eyeshadows besides MAC, let me know because I want to get into trying new things besides MAC. The reason why I resort to MAC is because I already know the company and how every product works. So it's you can't go wrong with mac um and then i also grabbed vanilla and this is kind of like a little bit shimmery um it's perfect for underneath your brows for on the inner corner highlight just depending if you like that matte finish look um and then i also got all that glitters i remember i tried to get this eyeshadow the last time i went but they didn't have it so thankfully they had it this time so this color is like a uh, how do I explain? I'm bad at explaining colors, you guys. So bad. This is kind of like, like a pinkish, pearl, iridescent, shimmery, pink color. 
yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um, and then I also got Swiss chocolate. This is another popular one. And this is kind of like a, this is kind of similar to red brick in a way. No, red brick is, red brick is orange. But this is like a burnt burgundy brown. It's, it's beautiful, you guys. You guys have to see it in person. And I'm sure once it's on your eyeballs, it'll look 10 times better. Okay, the next shadow I got is called... Idle Eyes and this one is a color that I wouldn't normally wear. This one would be perfect for the holidays. It is a shimmery blue with like little sparkly specks. Sparkly specks? I'm embarrassed. If you guys want swatches of these eyeshadows or swatches of all of my MAC shadows that I have, you know what to do. Maybe I'll make a separate video if I'm not too lazy. And then the final eyeshadow that I got is, of course, Electra. This was one of my... I almost dropped it. This was one of my first MAC eyeshadows that I ever got. And it is a silver shimmer. And it is just... It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous color paired up with black. It just looks very smoky and sexy and so fucking cute. Okay, so those are all the eyeshadows that I got. Moving on to the lip pencils, I got two of them. The first one is called Chestnut and the second one is called Boldly Bear. I'm trying to buy all of the MAC lip liners because MAC lip liners are amazing. They're very creamy. When you sharpen them, they go on amazing. I just, I love, I love everything about it. So this lip pencil is called Boldly Bear. And it is a beautiful color. It kind of reminds me of... <sighs> that's what it looks like. I don't want to focus it because then I won't be in focus no more. So that's the chestnut and then that's the boldly bare. It's like a salmon color. This is like a an everyday lip liner. You can pair this up with any nude lipstick. So if you guys are looking for an everyday lip color, boldly bare is the way to go. And then, let me see, I'm almost done guys, I promise. So I had to go ahead and grab another Honey Love lipstick. You guys know I live for Honey Love lipstick. I have one, I actually bought two. I think I have three in total, but this one is the one I use on myself every single day and on my clients. Like whatever I do, like a smoky eye on my clients, I throw this on their lips. That's why I had to kind of switch it up, buy some more nude lipsticks and not use Honey Love so much. Um, but if you guys want to see what it looks like, this is a matte finish lipstick and it's this one right here. It looks more pinkish when I, it looks more pinkish like with the lipstick by itself, but I always pair it up with stripped down lip liner. That is another one of my all time favorites. If you guys ever see me in public, if you see me up close, most likely I am wearing Honey Love and stripped down lip liner. Okay, so I had to grab another Ruby Woo because I broke the last one that I had. And it's just so disgusting. I need to depaw all of my lipsticks. Do you guys know of any good lipstick palette things besides the MAC one? I need to go buy me one because I have way too many lipsticks. It's way too much to carry in my kit and I just, I can't, I, I can't do with it. So this is what Ruby Woo looks like. This one is a gorgeous color for the summer, for the fall, for winter, for whenever, when you break up with your boyfriend, when you go out on a date with a guy, when, whenever. Like seriously, this is another one of my favorites. Although it is very drying, but it's the perfect, the perfectest, I don't even know if that is a word, red lipstick. It's a blue toned lipstick and it is kind of scary to wear, but you know, when you're feeling fierce that day, put that shit on. Okay. And the next lipstick I got is Myth. That is another one of the lipsticks that I already have. But I always like to buy a lot of the same lipsticks just because it's the one that is used the most. Um, Chestnut and Myth would look so pretty together. You can't really, you can't really see it, but it's that one. And oh, I love how, I love how MAC lipsticks smells so good. So yeah, and this is a satin finish, so... I'm so tired of talking right now. I have to get all my shit ready for tomorrow. And uh, it's a busy week. It's a busy month for me. Okay, and then I got this lipstick. It's called Kind of Sexy. So fucking pretty. Like, this is another nude lipstick if you guys want an everyday color lipstick. This is also 
very very pretty so it is that one right there and it is a matte finish finally i'm on the last product so this is one of the lip uh, it's a plush glass it's a plush glass it's a luster glass and this one was recommended to me by my friend daniel because his work is amazing and i asked him you know what lip glosses would be good for you know an everyday lip or like a basic nude lip and he recommended for me to use love nectar so love nectar is like a bronzy sort of pinkish sparkly color don't ever be afraid of using lip glosses that have shimmer or that have glitter because when you pair it up with the lip liner and the lipstick for the most part the lipstick and lip liner are going to be matte and then once you apply this it's just going to even out so it's like the perfect texture and the perfect color that makes sense i used to be so scared of wearing any nude lipsticks but i have come to conclusion that a lipstick does not ever 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 look the same as it does is with as if you were to use it with a lip liner <sighs> i talk way too damn much so that's the swatch of the lip gloss you can't really see it because it's obviously not in focus but that completes my haul i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more of these go ahead thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe happy holidays everybody and i will see you guys all in my next video